Welcome, re-wanderers, to a realm where tales weave threads of courage and wisdom under the watchful gaze of the moon. Close your eyes and let the enchanting whispers of the night carry you into the heart of the forest, where magic stirs among the shadows. Tonight we embark on a journey into the depths of imagination, guided by the timeless tale of the badger's bones. As the moon casts its silver light upon the canopy, joyous and a tranquil clearing where stories of bravery and determination unfold like petals in the breeze. Gather round, dear listeners, as the forest comes alive with the hushed anticipation of tales yet untold. Let the wisdom of the old badger, with fur as dark as night and eyes gleaming with untold stories, guide you on a journey of courage and inspiration. Close your eyes now, and let the gentle rhythm of the forest's heartbeat lull you into a peaceful slumber. The journey begins, and the wonders of the night await. Chapter 1 The Arrival of the Badger Once upon a time, in a forest through the moonlight dance through the leaves. In the lair, as with ancient magic, a new presence stirred the usual calm. This was no ordinary visitor. It was a badger, old and wise, with for as dark as the night, and eyes gleaming with untold stories. The creatures of the forest accustomed to their tranquil existence, felt a wave of curiosity at this arrival. Wispies fluttered like weed. What brings him to our forest? The badger made his way to the forest with a purposeful stride, his snout held high, sensing the air. He seemed to be searching, not for food or shelter, but for an audience. The forest rabbits, deer, foxes, and birds watched from a distance, their interest piqued by this newcomer who carried an awe of mystery. As the sun dipped below the horizon, painting the sky in shades of orange and purple, the badger found a clear room bathed in moonlight. He paused, looking around as if to ensure this was the right place. Then, with a nod of satisfaction, he settled down, waiting for the night to fall completely. Under the glow of the full moon, the forest creatures hesitantly emerged from their hiding spots, drawn to the clearing by an unspoken invitation. The badger sat serenely, his gaze calm and welcoming. One by one, they formed a circle around him, a motley assembly of full feathers and whiskers, their eyes reflecting the moonlight, filled with curiosity and wonder. The badger surveyed his audience, a gentle smile curling the edges of his mouth. Thank you for coming, he began, his voice deep and resonant echoing softly through the clearing. I have traveled far and wide, through forests darker and lands beyond the mountains. I have seen the sun rise and set over many horizons, and in my journeys, I have collected tales, tales of courage, bravery, and determination. A hush fell over the crowd, the creatures of the forest leaning in, Captivated by the promise of stories yet to be told, the badger cleared his throat, and the forest seemed to still, the very leaves holding their breath in anticipation. Let me tell you about the time I stood my ground against the fearsome fox, he began, his voice with a tapestry of adventure, of a young badger who, 
despite the danger, protected his family from a cunning predator. The tale was not just of bravery, but of cleverness and the strength that comes from love and duty. As the story unfolded, the creatures found themselves drawn into the world the badger described, living each moment with bated breath, feeling the fear, the thrill, and the triumphant joy of the badger's victory. When the tale came to an end, a chorus of awed whispers and excited hatters filled the clearing, the audience inspired by the badger's courage. As the moon climbed higher, bathing the clearing in a soft, silvery glow, the badger continued to share his tales. Each story was a gem, polished by time and memory, sparkling with the wisdom of lessons learned in moments of fear and daring. The creatures of the forest, now completely enraptured, listened as the badger spoke of times he had navigated through the darkest woods without a flicker of light, of how he had outsmired a hunter's traps with wit and courage, and of a time he had led a band of last travelers back to serve to under the cover of love and love and love and love. With each tale, the stars seemed to shine a little brighter, casting their light upon faces young and old, reflecting the glow of newfound understanding in their eyes. The badger spoke of courage near as the absence of fear, but as the resolve to face it head on. He talked about bravery as a choice, a moment when one decides that something is more important than fear. The night there was filled with the magic of these stories, weaving a spell of bravery and wisdom around the hearts of all who listened. The badger taught them that courage comes in many forms. The strength to stand up for what is right, the determination to protect those we love, and the boldness to pursue our dreams despite the obstacles that stand in our way. As the first hints of dawn tinged the sky with pink and gold, the gathering and clearing drew to a close. The badger's voice soft and comforting as the night's end approached, shared one last thought with his captivated audience. Avoy, he said, it does not come with the fanfare of the sun's rise, but quietly breaks the hold of the darkest night to bring light to a new day. He looked around at the circle of forest creatures, their faces illuminated by the early morning light. A diverse assembly, united by a common thread of newfound courage. Remember, the badger continued, the courage you admire in these tales already lies within each of you. It waits for the moment when you choose to let it shine, to stand your ground and to face the challenges that life presents. As the sun rose, cast a warm glow over the forest, the creatures began to disperse, each taking with friend the seeds of courage planted by the badger's tails. They felt a newfound strength within them, a boldness to face the uncertainties of their world with determination and resolve. The badger watched them go, a gentle smile on his face. He knew that the stories he had shared this night would grow within them, looming into acts of bravery and kindness that would ripple to the forest in ways unseen. And with the promise of dawn, he too turned and disappeared into the forest, leaving behind a legacy of boldness that would be remembered and retold for generations to come. With the break of day, the forest was alive with whispers of the night's tales, each creature emboldened by the badger's wisdom. And as the sun climbed higher, casting its light on paths untread and futures unwritten, the forest hummed with the promise of new stories of courage and determination, waiting just beyond the horizon. The tales of the badger's boldness had only begun to unfold, their echoes of bravery destined to inspire the hearts of those who dwell in the forest for many moons to come.
Chapter 2 Trials of Bravery In the heart of the forest, where the trees whispered ancient secrets, and the earth was alive with the magic of old, there flowed the silver stream. More than just water over stone, the stream was a ribbon of light, its current swift and treacherous, a barrier that few had dared to cross. It was here that the badger brought the creatures of the forest for their first trial of bravery. As the sun rose, casting its golden light through the leaves, the forest dwellers gathered at the bank of the silver stream. The water shimmered, reflecting morning light in a dazzling display of colors. But beneath the beauty lay a challenge that would test their courage like never before. <laughs> The badger, standing firm on the water's edge, addressed the assembly. The silver stream may seem insurmountable. He began his voice steady and reassuring. But it is within each of you to find a way across. This is not just a test of strength or skill, but of heart and perseverance. None by one, the creatures approached the stream each facing their fears in their own way. The rabbits, quick and agile, found paths where the rocks rose closest to the surface. There leads a testament to their determination. The squirrels, nimble and swift, swung from the branches that overhung the water, their movements a dance of grace and courage. Even the smallest of creatures the mice and the frogs did not shy away. They banded together using leaves as rafts, their tiny hearts bold as they navigated the swift currents. Though the birds, though they could easily fly across, chose instead to walk alongside their friends, offering words of encouragement and support. Their presence reminds you that bravery is offering funding unity. With each crossing, cheers and applause rose from the bank, a chorus of encouragement for those still waiting their turn. The stream, once a daunting obstacle, became a stage upon which the courage of the forest was displayed in all its forms. The badger watched each crossing with a proud gleam in his eye. He saw not just the physical act of crossing the stream, but the inner journey each creature undertook. With every step, leap, and paddle, they were not just moving across water, but also overcoming the doubts and fears that had held them back. As the last of the creatures reached the far bank, the forest rang with the joy of their achievement. They had faced the challenge of the silver stream and emerged not just unscathed, but stronger. The spirits buoyed by the knowledge that they could face their fears and triumph. The badger joined them on the other side, his smile wide and welcoming. Today, you have shown that perseverance is the key to overcoming obstacles, he said looking around at the faces beaming with pride and newfound confidence. Remember this feeling, for it is your courage and determination that will carry you through the trials to come. As the group made their way back into the heart of the forest, the silver stream behind them seemed less like a barrier and more like a mirror, reflecting the strength and courage they had found within themselves. The dream had not just been a crossing of water, but a journey into the heart of bravery, a lesson that would guide them through the challenges ahead. After the triumph at the silver stream, the forest creatures followed the badger deeper into the heart of the woods. The trees grew taller here, their nanopes weaving a dense tapestry that barely let the sunlight through. 
A hush fell over the group as they ventured into this part of the forest where the air was thick with mystery and the shadows seemed to move with a life of their own. The badger leaped back into a clearing where the trees circled like ancient guardians. The light that managed to filter through the leaves cast strange, shifting patterns on the ground, creating an ever landscape of light and dark. Fear the badger began, his voice a steady beacon in the eerie quiet, is like these shadows. It shifts and changes, growing larger in our minds than it truly is. But remember, where there is shadow, there is also light. The creatures gathered around, their eyes wide with a mixture of fear and fascination. The badger spoke of the shadows, not as enemies. It is challenges to be met with courage and a steadfast heart. Today, he continued, you will learn to stand your ground to face the shadows, not with fear, but with boldness. One by one, the badger called them forward. Each creature was to enter the shadow part of the forest, find a token, a, f a stone, a tweed, and return it to the clearing. Simple as it seemed, the task was a test of bravery, for the shadows whispered of unknown dangers, and the imagination conjured monsters lurking behind every tree. The first to step forward was a young rabbit, her heart pounding as she ventured into the dimness. The shadows danced around her, and for a moment, fear threatened to overwhelm her. But then she remembered the badger's words, and with a deep breath, she found her courage. She picked up a smooth stone, its surface cool against her trembling paw, and hurried back to the clearing, her spirit lifted by her achievement. Encouraged by the rabbit's success, the others followed. A squirrel darted through the shadows, quick and agile, returning with a leaf that glimmered with dew. A mouse, tying turnit, ventured further than any other. His return with a twig met with cheers of admiration. With each return, the clearing grew brighter, not with sunlight, but with the glow of courage that filled the hearts of the forest dwellers. They had faced the shadows, not with speed or stealth, but with the boldness to stand their ground. And in doing so, they had yearned that fear, much like the shadows, knows as its power when confronted with courage. As the last of the tokens was laid before the badger, the clearing seemed to shine with an inner light. The badger looked around at the faces before him, no longer locked by fear, but by a quiet strength. You have shown that even in the deepest shadows, your courage shines bright, he said, his voice filled with pride. Remember this feeling, for it will light your way through the darkest times. The lesson of the shadows was not just about facing fear, but about understanding it, about seeing beyond the darkness to the light that waits on the other side. As they left the clearing, the forest no longer seemed a place of lurking dangers, but a realm of mysteries waiting to be explored with bold hearts and brave spirits. The trial in the shadows had taught them more than just courage. It had shown them the power of their own light, a power that would guide them through whatever trials lay ahead. I wonder this time, their mating place was a glade where the grass seemed to shimmer with dew, and the air was filled with a gentle chorus of nocturnal creatures. The trials of bravery had brought them here, to share, to learn, and to glow stronger together. The badger, their guide and mentor, grew these trials, sat at the center of the circle they formed. 
His presence was a comforting anchor in the vastness of the night. Tonight, he began, his voice carrying softly over the assembled creatures. We share not just tales of bravery, but of the fears we faced and overcome. For in sharing we find strength and in listening, we find wisdom. One by one, the creatures stepped forward to share their stories. The fox spoke of the fear that had gripped her heart as she crossed the silver stream. How the rushing waters seemed like a monster from her nightmares. But then she remembered the encouragement of her friends, the strength in unity, and found the courage to leap from stone to stone until she reached the other side. Adir recounted his journey into the shadows, how every rustle of leaves sounded like a predator lurking, waiting. But as he stood still, surrounded by darkness, he realized that the fear was of an unknown, and by facing it, he made it known, and alas, no longer frightening. With each story, a common thread emerged. Fair was a part of their journey, a challenge to be met with the same courage they had shown in the trials. The badger listened in to intent, nodding in understanding, offering words of wisdom. Here, he said, is like a shadow. It grows larger when we turn away from it, but diminishes when we face it head on. You have all shown that courage does not mean the absence of fear, but the determination to act despite it. The meeting became a tapestry of tales, woven from the threads of courage, fear, and triumph. Laughter and tears mingled in the cool night air as barriers were broken down and friendships were forged in the shared understanding of each other's struggles and victories. As the meeting drew to a close, the badger stood and addressed the gathering once more. Tonight, we have shared our fears and our courage. Let these stories be a beacon in times of darkness, a reminder that you are not alone in your fears, nor in your bravery. Carry these tales with you as a shield against the shadows and a sword to cut through the darkness. The creatures left the meeting with hearts lighter than when they had arrived. The fears they had faced in the trials and the fears they shared under the cover of night seemed less daunting now. They had been shared, faced, and overcome, not alone, but together, with the wisdom of the badger and the strength of their newfound bonds guiding them. The midnight meeting had been more than just a gathering. It was a rite of passage, a step further on their journey of bravery. As they returned to their homes in the heart of the forest, the night seemed less dark, the shadows less menacing. They carried with them the light of their courage a light that would shine brightly, dispelling the darkness of fear wherever they went. Not long after the midnight meeting, as the bonds of courage and shared tales stared shoom through the forest, the sky darkened with the promise of a tempest. Clouds, heavy and ominous, rolled in, casting shadows deeper than any that lurked within the forest. The wind whispered warnings through the trees, and the air grew tense with anticipation. The creatures of the forest, still buoyed by the strength they found in each other, gathered once more at the badger's call. This time, their gathering was not for tales or teachings, but for a test unlike any other. A test of will against the fury of nature itself. The badger stood before them his gaze steady 
as the first drops of rain pattered softly on the leaves above. This storm, he said, his voice cutting through the rising wind is not just a challenge to be endured, but a Together, we will face it, and together, we will emerge stronger. As the rain began to fall in earnest, turning paths into rivulets and the air into a curtain of water, the badger led them deeper into the forest. The, the, their destination was an ancient grove, known to few, where the trees stood tall and strong, their roots interwoven in a natural bulwark against the elements. The journey was arduous, the mud clinging to their feet, and the wind tugging at their fur and feathers. But they moved as one, a testament to the bonds of friendship and trust they had forged. When one stumbled, another was there to support them. When one faltered, words of encouragement were whispered like a bomb against the storm's fury. <laughs> Lightning illuminated the sky, followed by thunder that shook the ground beneath their feet. But within the grove, sheltered by the ancient trees, they found a haven. Here, the badger taught them how to brace against the wind, to find strength in unity, and to face the storm with courage. Throughout the night, as the storm raged around them, the creatures of the forest stood together. They shared their warmth, their strength and their resolve, each one contributing to the safety of the whole. The badger moved among them, a guiding presence, reminding them that the storm outside was no match for the storm of courage that raged within their hearts. And then, as suddenly as it had begun, the storm abated. The dawn grok on a forest washed clean, the air fresh with the scent of renewal. The creatures, tired but unbroken, emerged from the grove to see the world anew. The destruction wrought by the storm was evident, but so too was the resilience of the forest and its inhabitants. The badger gathered them once more, his eyes gleaming with pride. You have faced the storm, not as individuals, but as a united force. You have shown that even the fiercest tempest is powerless against the combined strength of your wills. This, he said, gesturing to the clear sky, and the forest around them, is the true power of courage and teamwork. The test of will had been passed, not by braving the storm alone, but by facing it together. The creatures of the forest had learned that courage was not just about standing strong in the face of fear, but about standing together, supporting each other through the darkest of times. As they returned to their homes, the sun breaking through the clouds in a symphony of light, they carried with them not just the memory of the storm, but the knowledge that together they were invincible. The trial had not just tested their determination, it had forged them into a community bound by courage, ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead. In the days following the storm, as the forest began to heal and rebuild, a new energy pulsed through its heart. The trials of bravery, faced by the creatures under the guidance of the wise badger, had sparked more than just courage among those who participated. Tales of their boldness, their unity in the face of adversity began to weave through the forest. Carried on the wings of birds, whispered by the trees, and murmured by the streams. Eve. Eve's stories, vibrant and alive, spread like wildfire igniting a flame of inspiration throughout the woodland. In every corner of the forest, creatures who had once lived in the shadows of their fears started to step into the light of courage. 
a family of hedgehogs, emboldened by the tales of the badger and his followers, ventured beyond their thicket to explore the wider world. A clan of rabbits inspired by the unity shown during the storm organized a watch to protect their warren from predators, each member stand in guard with newfanged bravery. Even the most solitary of creatures felt the stirrings of courage within their hearts. A lone owl, who had always watched from a distance, now swooped down to offer his wisdom and aid to those navigating the night. The venerable deer, moved by the stories of perseverance against the storm, began to mentor the fawns, teaching them the ways of courage and leadership. The forest itself seemed to respond to this awakening of bravery. Where once the underbrush had been thick with hesitation, paths cleared inviting exploration and adventure. The streams, witnesses to the crossing of the silver stream, bubbled with encouragement, their waters sparkling with the reflection of daring deeds. The badger, watching this transformation with a heart full of pride, knew that the true power of their trials lay not in the acts of bravery themselves, in the ripples they created. Bravery begets bravery, he murmured to himself, seeing the change sweeping through the forest. Each tale of courage, each act of boldness, served as a beacon guiding others to find the strength within themselves. As the moon waxed and waned, a council of creatures was formed, a gathering of those who had face. The trials and those inspired by their actions. Together, they discussed ways to foster this newfound courage, to ensure that the lessons of the badger were not lost to time. They spoke of mentorship, of challenges designed to draw forth the strength that lay dormant in the hearts of the forest inhabitants, and of celebrations to honor the bravery shown by all. The echoes of boldness resonated through the forest, a symphony of courage that touched every life. Longsters grew up on stories of the silver stream, the shadows in the forest, a midnight meeting, and the storm. Each tale a lesson in courage, unity, and perseverance. In time, the forest became known far and wide as a place of bravery, a sanctuary where fear was met with courage and challenges were opportunities for growth. Travelers passing through left with tales of their own, spreading the legend of the brave creatures and their wise badger mentor to distant lands. The trials of bravery, initiated by the badger's wisdom, had transformed the forest. But more importantly, they had transformed the hearts of those who dwelled within it. The echoes of boldness, meant a whisper, to the ward like the wind through the trees, a testament to the power of courage, the strength of unity, and the mentoring legacy of the badger's boldness. As the season turned, bringing with it the golden hues of autumn, the force and its inhabitants basked in the warmth of a courage newly found they freely shared. The echoes of boldness, now a familiar refrain among the trees and streams, had nurtured a transformation not just of action, but of understanding. The badger, ever the sage and guide, called the creatures together once more. This gathering was different, marked not by the anticipation of a trial to be faced, but by the reflection on the journey they had undertaken. The air was crisp and the leaves rustled with the whispers of wisdom as the forest's inhabitants circled around the badger in a clearing framed by the vibrant colors of fall. Courage. The badger began, his voice carrying the weight of their shared experiences. Is a light that shines brightest 
in the presence of fear. It is the beacon that guides us through the darkest nights, through the stormiest days. Skaze met those of his guardians, each creature a testament to the truth of his words. He spoke of the silver stream, not just as a body of water they had crossed, but as a symbol of the obstacles in life that seem insurmountable until faced with a heart full of courage. He reminded them of the shadows in the forest, how facing the unknown with boldness can turn fear into a path of discovery. The midnight meeting, reflected, was a testament to the power of sharing one's fears, of finding the strength in vulnerability and unity. The storm, perhaps the most formidable trial, was a master mastering in perseverance, showing that when we stand together, braving the elements with courage and teamwork, even the fiercest tempests can be weathered. As the badger spoke, a profound understanding settled over the gathering. Heads nodded in agreement, eyes sparkled with the recognition of their own growth and hearts swelled with a realization of the courage they possessed. The trials had been a mirror, reflecting that to them the strength they had always carried within, waiting for the moment to shine. Even facts or both. I used to think courage meant not being afraid, she said. Her voice clear and strong. But now I understand that it's feeling the fear and facing it anyway. It's about doing what needs to be done. Even when every part of you wants to run away. Her words opened the floodgates, and one by one, the creatures shared their insights. A squirrel spoke of the courage it took to trust others, to lean on friends when the path became too steep to climb along. A rabbit reflected on the courage of hope, of daring to dream of a brighter future in the face of uncertainty. The badger listened, his heart full as his teachings were echoed back to him, not as wrote lessons, but as deeply felt truths. You have all discovered the essence of courage, he said, his eyes gleaming with pride. It is in the roar of defiance in the face of danger, but the quiet voice at the end of the day saying, I will try again tomorrow. Mm. As the gathering dispersed, the creatures of the forest carried with fairy the light of understanding. They had learned that courage was not a shield against fear, but a lantern illuminated the path through it. It was a choice made every day, in moments big and small, a testament to the strength of the heart and the indomitable spirit of the forest. The trials of bravery had come to an end, but the journey of courage was just beginning. With the light of understanding to guide them, the creatures of the forest stepped forward into the future ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead. Knowing that true courage was not the absence of fear, but the determination to face it to dead up. Chapter 3 The Legacy of Determination As the first light of dawn cracked over the horizon, painting the forest in hues of gold and amber, the creatures stirred from their slumber. This morning was unlike any other. It was as if the very air was charged with inner energy, a vibrancy that pulsed through the heart of the forest. The trials of bravery, under the wise guidance of the badger, had woven a tapestry of courage and wisdom. It now enveloped every tree, every leaf, every drop of dew. The creatures of the forest woke to a newfound confidence, a sense of readiness that enas through their fruits. The lessons learned from the badger, 
the trials faced together had ignited a spark of determination, what being them, a flame that fear could not extinguish. They looked at the world with eyes wide open, seeing not just the beauty of their home, but the endless possibilities that lay before them. The badger, watching from a distance as the forest came to life, felt a deep satisfaction. His heart was full, knowing that the seeds of courage he had planted had taken root, and the now blossoming into a legacy of determination. He has seen the transformation in each creature, from the smallest mouse to the tallest deer. They had discovered their strength, their ability to face challenges with a heart fortified by bravery. As the sun rose higher casting its warm embrace over the forest, a gathering formed in the caring where that journey had begun. This meeting was a celebration, a moment to reflect on the journey that had brought them to this point. The badger, standing at the center of the circle, looked around at the faces before him, each one a story of triumph and growth. Today marks a new beginning, he said, his voice resonating with the wisdom of the ages. You have all faced your fears, embraced your courage, and discovered the strength that lies within. The trials were but a chapter in the story of your lives, a story that you continue to write with each passing day. The creatures listened, their hearts swelling with pride and determination. They understood that the trials were not just tests to be passed, but lessons to be lived. The badger had shown them that courage was not a fleeting moment of bravery, but a constant choice, a legacy of determination that would shape their destinies. And Wang Squirrel, emboldened by the badger's words, stepped forward. Because of you, we've learned to see challenges not as obstacles, but as opportunities. We have learned that together, there is nothing we cannot face. Nods of agreement rippled through the gathering, a chorus of affirmation that echoed the Sileni Ralad sentiment. The badger smiled, his heart warmed by their words. Remember, he continued, the legacy you carry forward is not just of the courage you've shown, but of the determination to keep facing each new day with an open heart and a willing spirit. As the gathering disbanded, the creatures of the forest moved through their world with a new purpose. They faced their daily tasks not just as routines to be completed, but as chances to embody the lessons of the badger. They helped one another, shared their stories with the young, and stood together in the face of adversity. The dawn of realization had come bringing with it the light of understanding and the warmth of shared courage. The forest, once a place of hidden fears and unspoken dreams, was now a testament to the power of determination, a legacy crafted by the wisdom of the badger and the bravery of who had answered his call. As the golden light of the afternoon sun filtered through the canopy, Casting dapwood shadows upon the forest floor, the creatures gathered once more in the familiar clearing. Their faces alight with the glow of determination and manti turned towards the badger, who had called them together for an announcement of great importance. The air was filled with a palpable sense of anticipation, a shared understanding that the journey they had embarked upon together was approaching a pivotal moment. The badger standing before them with a solemnity that commanded attention cleared his throat and the clearing fell into an expectant silence. Well, my friends, he began, his voice carrying the weight of you moment, you have all grown in courage and wisdom through the trials we have faced together. We have learned to stand in the face of fear, to unite in the darkest of times, and to find strength within ourselves and each other. Now the time has come for one final test, a challenge that will require all the courage and wisdom you have gained. A mirror of curiosity, 
and a hint of apprehension swept through the gathering. The creatures exchanged glances, each reflecting in the journey they had shared, the challenges they had overcome, and the lessons they had learned. This final test, the badger continued, will not be like the others. It will not take place in the safety of the forest or under the protection of its canopy. Instead, you will journey to the great meadow, beyond the edge of the forest where the land meets the sky. There, under the open heavens, you will face a challenge that will ask more of you than ever before. The mention of the great meadow, a place of legend and mystery, known to the only through whispered tales, ignited a mix of excitement and fear. The Great Meadow was said to be a place where the earth touched the heavens, a place of unimaginable beauty, but also of great peril. The badger's eyes swept across the faces before him, seeing the resolve that had been forged in the heart of every creature. You will need to prepare, he advised, for the journey will be long, and the challenge will test every lesson you have learned. But remember, you do not face this alone. The strength you have found in each other, the bonds that have been formed, will be your greatest ally. As the badger laid out the preparations for the journey, detailing the supplies they would need, and the strategies they might employ, the creatures listened intently. Their men to Mike with the task ahead. They formed groups, discussing their roles and how they could support one another, their voices a cacophony of determination and collaborative spirit. In the days that followed, the forest was a hive of activity. Creatures practiced the skills they had learned, from navigating by the stars to building shelters from the elements. They gathered supplies from fern to sustain them on their journey to tools that might aid in the unknown challenge. And always they supported each other, sharing knowledge, encouragement, and the unspoken bond of a shared purpose. As the day of departure drew near, the badger watched over the preparations with a sense of pride and a touch of melancholy. He knew that this final test was not just a challenge to be overcome, but a rite of passage, a culmination of the journey they had undertaken together. The night before they were to set out for the great meadow, the creatures gathered around a great fire, its flames reaching towards the starlit sky. They shared tales of their journey their voices mingling with the crackle of the fire, a symphony of courage, friendship, and anticipation. As they retired to their rest, the forest around them seemed to hold its breath, waiting for the dawn that would mark the beginning of their greatest test. The legacy of determination they had built together was about to be put to the ultimate test, but they faced it not with fear, but with the unwavering belief in themselves and each other, ready to meet the challenge with all the courage and wisdom they had gained. On the eve of their departure for the Great Mail, a hush fell over the forest, but the peaceful silence of a world at rest, by a tense, anticipatory quiet, as if the very air waited a signal. The creatures, nestled in their dwellings, were roused from their preparations by a sudden, ominous chill that swept through the forest. It was a warning, a harbinger of a danger greater than any storm they had faced. From the depths of the forest, a rumble echoed, not of thunder, but of something alive, something formidable. It was the predator, a legend among the forest creatures, a being of shadow and fear that had not been seen for generations. Its return was the true test the badger had foreseen, a challenge that would require all the courage and wisdom they had cultivated. The badger, sensing the change in the air, called the creatures to an uncutted sea gathering. The predator has returned, he announced, 
his voice calm, yet imbued with urgency. This is not just a threat to one or two of us, but to the very heart of our forest. We must stand together, united by the bravery and determination we have nurtured within ourselves. The creatures, despite the fear that gripped their hearts, responded to the call with the resilience that had been forged in the trials they had faced. They knew that the predator was no mere beast. It was a manifestation of their deepest fears, a test of their will, and a challenge to the legacy of determination they had built. As they rallied around the badger, strategies were formed. The foxes and wolves, swift and keen, would serve as scouts, using their agility to gather intelligence on the Predator's movements. The birds with their view from above would serve as messengers, keeping the forest informed and connected. The bears and boars with their strength would form the front line, a bulwark against the approaching threat. The smaller creatures, too, found their roles in this battle for their home. The squirrels and the rabbits, nimble and quick, would create diversions and traps, turning the forest's terrain to their advantage. The insects and the reptiles, often overlooked, would serve as spies, but small sizes allowing them to move unnoticed. As preparations surged forward, the badger stood at the heart of the forest, a beacon of wisdom and courage. He reminded them all the predator may be strong, but our strength lies not in might alone, but in our unity, our courage, and our determination to protect our home. Remember, we face this challenge not as individuals, but as a forest united. The night before the predators expected arrival, the forest did not sleep. Instead, it was alive with activity, with creatures of all kinds working together, fortifying their home, and preparing for the confrontation. The air was filled with a sense of purpose, a collective determination that resonated through the trees and the underbrush. As dawn broke, paint in the sky, hues of bravery and hope, the creatures stood ready, their preparations complete. The predator, sensing the unity and strength of the forest, hesitated. For the first time, it faced not isolated victims, but a community bound by the legacy of determination, a force united against a common foe. The storm that had gathered on the horizon, the threat of the predator, became the as an attest of the lessons the badger had imparted. In this moment of trial, the creatures of the forest discovered the true depth of their courage, the real strength of their determination, and the unbreakable bond of their unity. Together, they awaited the predator, not with fear, but with a resolve as firm as the earth beneath their feet, ready to defend their home with every ounce of bravery and determination they possessed. The legacy of determination built through trials and lessons now stood as their greatest defense, a testament to the power of unity and the indomitable spirit of the forest. As the first light of dawn cast its golden hue over the forest, the creatures stood united, their hearts beating as one in the stillness of the morning. The predator, shadow among shadows, emerged from the depths of the forest, its presence a palpable force that threatened to engulf the light of their determination. But the forest was no longer a place of isolated individuals. What was a bastion of unity, a stronghold of shared courage and collective will? The confrontation began not with claws and teeth, but with strategy and a cunning. The foxes and wolves, swift as the wind, darted in and out of the predator. Sight, their movements, a distracting dance that confused and frustrated the beast. The birds soaring high above, 
sang a chorus of defiance, their voices weaving a spell of courage that bolstered the spirits of their forest brethren. The bears and the boars, mighty and unyielding, formed a line of defense that the predator could not reach. With roars and grunts were the sounds of the earth itself, a testament to the strength and resilience of the forest. The smaller creatures, too, played their part with a bravery that allied their size. The squirrels and rabbits set traps and diversions, using their knowledge of the forest to turn the terrain to their advantage, while the insects and reptiles relayed messages and warnings, their small forms slipping unnoticed past the Pretatua's case. It was not strength alone that would win this battle. The wisdom and the lessons learned from the badger. The creatures knew that to overcome the predator they must outwit it, using every lesson of courage, teamwork, and determination they had acquired. Remember the badger's teachings, that courage was not the absence of fear but the resolve to face it. But unity was the greatest strength, and that determination was the key to overcoming any army obstacle. As the battle waged, a remarkable transformation occurred. The predator, faced with the unwavering unity and clever tactics of the forest creatures, began to falter. Its movements, once fluid and assured, became hesitant, its conahant shaken by the display of courage and resolve before it. The creatures, sensing their advantage, redoubled their efforts. Their determination a shining beacon that pierced the shadow of fear. In a final act of cunning, the creatures led the predator into a trap of their own making, a maze of illusions and diversions that confounded its senses. Surrounded him out in head, the predator found itself facing not just the creatures it had sought to terrorize, but the embodiment of the forest spirit, a force of an entry unified in purpose and determination. With the realization that its reign of fear was at an end, the predator yielded. Its defeat not just a loss of territory, but a surrender to the greater power of wisdom, courage, and unity. The creatures standing together in a light of victory knew that they had not just overcome a physical foe, but had triumphed over the shadows of fear that had once held them captive. The battle of wits and Nova was over, and the forest rang with the sounds of celebration. That it was a victory tempered by the knowledge that their success was not just in the defeat of the predator, but in the lessons they had lived and the unity they had forged. They had faced the ultimate test and emerged yet yeah, just survivors, but victors, a legacy of determination a beacon for generations to come. As the sun climbed higher, bathing the forest in light and warmth, the creatures gathered around the badger, their mentor and guide. In his eyes, they saw not just pride, but the reflection of their own courage a testament to the journey they had undertaken together. They had faced the battle of wits and will with the strength of their unity, the depth of their courage, and the unwavering force of their determination, forever changing the destiny of their forest home. In the aftermath of their monumental victory, the forest basked in a peace that felt as ancient as the earth itself. The sun, now high in the sky, casting lilient glow over the land, touching gifer leaf and blade of grass with the light of triumph. The creatures, their hearts light with the joy of their success, gathered in the great clearing where their journey had been, a place that had witnessed the birth of their courage and would now celebrate its triumph. The air was alive with the sounds of celebration, a harmonious blend of voices that sang the praises of unity, courage, and determination. 
The birds, their melodies sweet and uplifting, filled the sky with songs of victory. The animals danced, their movements a testament to the joy and freedom they had fought so bravely to protect. And at the center of it all stood the badger, the wise mentor whose teachings had ignited the spark of bravery within them all. The creatures, one by one, approached the badger, their eyes shining with gratitude and respect. They thanked him, not just for the wisdom he had shared, but for showing them the true meaning of bravery. It was not the absence of fear they had learned, but the determination to face it, to stand together to protect what they held dear. The badger was heartful at the sight of the humanity and strength. Before him spoke to the gathered creatures. Today, he said, his voice rich with emotion, you have not just saved our forest, you have transformed it. You have shown that courage is not the preserve of the few, but the legacy of all who dared to face the darkness, united in purpose and spirit. He looked around at the faces before him, each one a mirror of the journey they had shared. Remember this day, he continued, not just as a moment of victory, but as a testament to what we can achieve when we stand together. Will you let our courage shine brighter than our fears? The celebration continued into the evening, a vibrant tapestry of light, music, and laughter. But it was more than just a festivity. What was a decoration? A promise to the future, that the legacy of determination they had built would endure, a beacon for all who walked the forest paths as the stars began to twinkle in the twilight sky. The creatures gathered around a great bonfire, its flames reaching toward the heavens, a symbol of their indomitable spirit. They shared tales of the battle, of the moments of fear and doubt that had been overcome by acts of bravery and wisdom. And as they spoke, their stories wove a magic of their own, a magic that would ensure the legacy of their determination would be passed down through generations. The triumph of courage was not just in the defeat of the predator, or in the preservation of their home. It was in the transformation of every heart and soul in the forest in the knowledge that courage, unity, and determination were forces more powerful than any shadow. And as the fire burned low, casting its warm glow over the faces of the creatures gathered in the clearing. They that they had not just witnessed the triumph of courage, they had lived it. They had become its embodiment, its guardians, and its champions. The forest was saved not by the deeds of one, but by the courage of many, a courage that would echo through the trees and across the meadows for all time. The badger watching over the celebration felt a deep peace settle in his heart. He had given them the tools, but it was they who had built the legacy. As the moon rose high, casting its silver light over the forest, the creatures of the forest slept soundly. Their dreams filled with the marriage that they had faced the darkness and emerged victorious, and allowed it to in the world. Under the light of a full moon, a silver beacon in the velvety night, the forest gathered for a farewell and like in another. The clearing, a place of memories and transformations, was filled away small with the creatures of the forest. But this time, a bittersweet air hung among the trees. The badger, their wise mentor and steadfast guide through the trials that had forged their courage, was preparing to leave. The creatures, aware of the significance of this night, came out. Not in a procession of solemnity, but in a parade of gratitude and celebration. They brought with them tokens of the forest. Symbols of the lessons learned and the trials overcome. 
These that are brave the storm, stones that had crossed the silver stream, and feathers that had soared above the shadows. The badger stood at the heart of the clearing, his gaze sweeping over the faces before him. Each one a testament to the journey they had shared. My time with you, he began, his voice steady and warm, was always meant to be a chapter, not the entire story. You have all shown that the courage, wisdom, and determination you sought were within all along. Tears glistened in the eyes of many a silent tribute to the impact of his words and presence. Yet, amidst the sorrow of farewell, there was a stronger sentiment and deep-seated gratitude for the transformation he had inspired in their hearts and in the very essence of the forest. One by one, the creatures stepped forward to offer their tokens, each a symbol of their personal journey towards courage and unity. They spoke not only of the challenges they had faced, but of the future they now envisioned, a future bright with the promise of the lessons they would pass down. The badger accepted each token, his heart touched by the depth of their gratitude and the strength of their spirits. Remember, he said, turning to address the gathering one last time, the true legacy of determination was not in the battles fought or the victories won, but in the cowards to continue, the wisdom to it, and the initiatives to it. As the moon reached its zenith, casting a gentle glow over the clearing, the badger took his leave, his form silhouetted against the luminous night. The creatures, their hearts have yet filled with a newfound resolve, watched in silence, knowing that while his physical presence would be mixed, his spirit, his teachings, and the legacy of determination he had instilled them would endure forever. The farewell under the full moon was not an end, but a beginning, a promise that the lessons of courage, wisdom, and unity would continue to shape the forest and its inhabitants for generations to come. The badger's journey with them had concluded, but the journey of the forest emboldened by his wisdom and the trials they had overcome together was just beginning. As the first light of dawn tamed the horizon with hues of hope and renewal, the creatures of the forest returned to their homes, not as they had once been, but forever changed. They carried with them not only the memories of the trials faced and the victories won, but the knowledge that they were guardians of a legacy, a legacy of determination that would light their way through the darkest of nights and the most challenging of days.